Okay, this is going to be a video on how to change the uh, Camry 2.2 5SFE four-cylinder timing belt and oil pump and uh, a few other things, the oil pan and try to stop oil leaks and all that stuff. So, show you how to, the steps in taking off the timing belt. First, start and take off these uh, 14 millimeter here on this thing here. Okay, once you get the that thing there, which is called an engine mount actually, you take the alternator belt off next, right there. Okay, the alternator belt's off. That gives you access to three bolts on the uh, this bracket here. There's one there, and there's two hidden down there. Use a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench, so take that off next. Okay, now that little bracket is moved. So next you remove the power steering belt, which is down there, two 12 millimeter bolts. One is at the top, one's at the bottom. Take the tension off the belt and, and remove that. Okay, now the power steering belt is completely removed. Next step is to remove the big crankshaft pulley down below, which is right there. You can use a bump starter trick or simply use an impact tool to take it right off. Okay, once you get the the bolt out <coughs> Next, get a uh, tool to pull the uh, harmonic balancer off. Okay, set your puller up like this. Two holes are threaded. Put some long screws in there, long bolts, and pull this with uh, hand tools, not impact tools. And it'll come right off. Okay, and the harmonic balancer is off. Next thing is to remove the belt guide, which is that plate right there. Okay, now the belt guide's removed. The next thing to do is make index marks on the timing belt. One down here at the bottom on the crankshaft and one up top on the uh, camshaft. Okay, make your index mark on the top at the camshaft. Make an index mark like that. Two little arrows to tell you that it's facing you so you don't put the belt on backwards. Then do the same thing down below. And there's the mark below. Next, release the tensioner and take the timing belt off. Undo the tensioner bolt right there. Put a pry bar on it to take the tension off, then take the belt off. Okay, with the tensioner off and slack, you just take the belt off. Just falls off like that. Then you just remove the whole thing. Okay, at this stage with the timing belt off, just transfer the new marks or the old marks from the belt to the uh, the new belt and put the belt on and then you're done with timing belt. If you want to do the water pump, just go in there, there's a few bolts, take them off on the water pump, put a gasket on and put the water pump on. But I'm going to take off the oil pump down here, the body first and then the whole entire pump, which means that idler right there in the center has to come off, so take that off next. Okay, now you can see that the idler is out of the way, the idler pulley. The reason why it come, has to come off is because in order to do that, in order to get the oil pump out, you gotta, you gotta get rid of the idler. It's in the way. So come down here and start taking off all the little bolts on the oil pump. They're all 10 millimeters, so take those off next. Okay, now all the, the bolts are out of the oil pump. There's 14 of them, but some may vary. Next thing you do is take off the crankshaft sprocket right there that's marked. Okay, now the sprocket's off. If you want to change the seals, these these seals are already changed. I'm going to change them again, but you could, if you could do it at this time. Otherwise, next move on to removing the oil pan, jack up the car, so you can get more clearance. Okay, next is to get under the car and undo all the oil pan bolts and then begin to carefully pry the oil pan away from the engine after you drain, of course. So next to take this oil pan off. Okay, then pry the oil pan off and there's what you have. 
There you can see the oil pickup, which will be replaced. The bottom of the oil pump and the bottom of the engine here. And the oil pan surface. So next will be to take the oil pump pickup off and replace that gasket. Okay, next remove the pickup bolts, which are those two little bolts there, and there's one support bracket there. And remove the pickup and uh, strainer. Okay, now the strainer is removed and the pickup, so now you can move remove the oil pump itself, which is right there. Hit it from the back with a hammer, and the whole thing will come out. Okay, now the oil pump assembly, the entire assembly is removed. As you can see here by these shiny areas, this is where the factory gasket is no longer there. So this could be the source of the oil leak, particularly because the oil is coming, all this oily uh, mess down here, it's in that general direction. And there's a missing part of the gasket there. In there, probably sprayed oil here and ate away at the CV boot. So, uh, and there's the crankshaft. So, I'm going to put new gaskets on there and put the oil pump back on. Uh, make sure that the shaft and all the other seals on the oil pump body itself are uh, replaced as well.